that Yarny Zebra and Stuff. That Yarny Zebra and Stuff is a very unique name. Another unique name is Hypogamma Globulinemia. Yeah, it kind of sounds like we'll be watching a lot of this. Or since there's yarn involved, maybe this. But really, it's actually this. She uses the word zebra to highlight that just like no two zebras have the same stripe pattern, no rare disease is the same either. That yarny zebra basically is going through something very similar to lifelong chemotherapy via the infusions, and she also suffers from chronic pain. The yarn crafting provides income and productivity in her life because career options are kind of limited when dealing with these type of medical issues. But don't feel sorry for her. She put herself through college twice, and she's doing all sorts of interesting and creative things to prove that a rare disease doesn't have to get you down. She's even suffered through her dog's chili farts to prove it. <laughs> Yeah, Lucky is a regular chili dog. Oh, that was horrible, wasn't it? I know. I did mention the yarn crafting, right? That yarny zebra and stuff makes various yarn and needlework and also sewing projects. She participates in numerous collaborations, challenges, and tags. She has giveaways. She does mail calls from a plethora of YouTube and Facebook friends, as well as sharing Bible studies and doing crafting projects during live streams. Lucky Pants the dog joins some of the live streams also. Most of them, in fact. If needlework and yarniness are your thing, check out that yarny zebra and stuff. Little Country Cabin. Little Country Cabin features Jackie and her Mississippi family and follows them as they maintain their Christ-centered homestead where they focus on simplicity and sharing sufficiency skills, the old way of doing things. See that? I tried to catch the hummingbird, but it's going way too fast. It's a blur. Check out that video, though. It is too cute. And so is the cabin. And they give a very nice video tour of it as well. I mean, it is called Little Country Cabin, right? They're all in on the homesteading side, and they do more with their plantains than just fry them into chips. That's how I like them, by the way. While you're drooling over the plantains, check out the rest of the container garden and the raised beds. Want to see what else has a raised bed? Jackie says they like to keep their pigs high. <laughs> okay, little country cabin. What you grow is your business. <laughs> Want to get started keeping a milk cow? Little country cabin has a video series on just that. And they give you all the info that you can wade through on a variety of homestead topics. I happen to like the kitchen because, as I mentioned, Little Country Cabin likes doing things the simple, old-fashioned way. I like the idea of hand crank churning, but, mm, yeah, that is definitely what I call a hand churn. Oh, okay, 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 never mind. Hey, who knows what ghee is? For those who don't know, ghee is what's called clarified butter, which by default makes it a better butter. Remember that tongue twister about Betty Botter buying better butter to replace her bitter butter? <laughs> I guess it loses something, though, if they just said, mm, Betty Botter bought some ghee. <laughs> And you can pressure can it. Little Country Cabin does have quite the pantry. Uh, what's that colander doing in the air? Is this one of those things they like doing off the ground? Kind of like the pigs? Let me try something. <laughs> oh my gosh, is Houdini a homesteader? You're never going to find out unless you check out Little Country Cabin for yourself. Winging It with Irish Colleen. Winging It with Irish Colleen is a channel featuring an evil genius who likes to do sick yet hilarious experiments on her chickens. Okay, maybe not sick, but just a little twisted. Okay, I've heard of chickens playing tic-tac-toe, but the xylophone? And what are these hands doing? She's like, double take. She liked what she saw. 
And then Colleen plays the weirdest game of Hungry Hungry Hippos Australorp Edition in history. And she can't just give her chickens scrambled eggs. <laughs> you know, like a normal chicken owner. They have to be all scully and stuff. <laughs> well, whatever her methods, her chickens do seem to be very happy. And in the end, isn't that what matters? Wouldn't it be great if the chickens got a YouTube channel and tried out a lot of different foods? Winging it with Irish Colleen isn't only chickens. There are all sorts of mail calls, unboxings, taste tests, and meal kit reviews. MREs, to be exact. Colleen and Briggs the Bulldog review a lot of MREs, so those of us who want to include them in our food storage plan know which ones to stock up on and which ones to steer clear of. While we're talking storage of goods, winging it with Irish Colleen emphasizes being prepared and not scared. But you might be scared of what she prepared. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Catch up on those videos to find out why. Did I mention that Briggs the Bulldog is a big part of the channel? Those seat rests make him look like someone I used to know. Do you know who? Did you know you can also make MREs for your dogs? Briggs got a chance to review one as well as some other famous pooches. So how do you like it? I'm not sure I trust his judgment, though. <laughs> he don't look too picky to me. <laughs> Winging it with Irish Colleen not only plays with and reviews and grows her food, she also catches it. So check out Winging It with Irish Colleen. Needlework, crafting, and hypogamma globulinemia awareness. Christfield Simple Homesteading. MREs, preparedness, and chicken butts. Are these your people?